Members of the New Orleans Four will be honored in Washington, D.C. to commemorate 70 years since that landmark Supreme Court decision, Brown versus Board of Education. On November 14, 1960, two New Orleans elementary schools began desegregation. Leona Tate, Tessie Prevost, and Gail Etienne enrolled at McDonough 19 Elementary School. The three girls, only six years old at that time, were met with death threats, racial slurs, taunts. At the same time, Ruby Bridges integrated William France Elementary School. Now, Tate joined us live on the show last week where she told us schools have come a long way, but there's still a lot of work to be done. We have students come in and they experience what we, we went through. And, you know, because they really think this happened years ago, even years before we were born, you know, and they, they don't know how soon it, it is that it's right here and there and they, they're living, they're walking on this land right now. And um, I think if, it's, if, if they see it, can happen. Again, 70 years ago this Friday, segregation in public schools was ruled unconstitutional, violating the 14th Amendment. And Tate, Prevost, and Etienne will all be honored by the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division today in Washington.